and today we're going to talk about Lolita fashion and how to start with the fashion. So I'm just going to give a quick run through of Lolita fashion and for more details you can check out my blog that I linked in the description box. So Lolita fashion started in the 1980s in Japan and has spread internationally now. It is typically based off of the Edwardian, Victorian, or Rococo periods. So it's very much about modesty and innocence and that's kind of the look. I want to emphasize that this fashion has become international. It is a trend that anyone can participate in, no matter their age, their race, their sex, um, anything else. Nothing should stop you from doing a fashion style if you want to get into that fashion style. So please do not be discouraged because the Lolita community should, if it isn't already, be accepting. I'm going to give you some rundown of the basic Lolita language and the terminology that we use such as OP, which is a one-piece dress like this, and then you have a jumper skirt, which is kind of like this, but this is called a jumper skirt, and it's where basically you don't have sleeves, so you have to wear a blouse underneath. There's also just skirts, which are called SKs, that go with the blouse as well, if you don't like the dresses. So OTT stands for over the top and that's what you want with your cord. You want it to be over the top. I still need to work on improving this and accessorizing more. And also there's motif, which is kind of like the theme that you want. So on my dress, there are kitties and crosses. So I did a little theme where I have like this little angel cause that's kind of like um, heavenly. And then I have cat ears because there's cats on my dress. Next, what you call your whole entire outfit when it's pieced together with accessories and your wig and whatever else, you call it a cord, which is short for coordinate. Then you have com, which is short for community, and also EGL, which is elegant gothic Lolita, which is typically a term that brands use that are more towards the gothic Lolita style fashion. And the worst insult maybe in my opinion that a lolita can hear is ita which is short in japanese for itai which is pain it's an insult which means that your clothing is poor quality so hopefully we'll avoid being told that in our lives i've never been told that but i don't like the sound of it so hopefully i won't so next we're going to talk about the styles. I typically love to do sweet Lolita, but there's also a variety of other things that may suit your appeal better, such as classic Lolita, which is more of a plain solid color, it's not much of a pattern print, maybe like gingham or um, the material is the focus instead of having patterns on it where Sweet Lolita has cute little animals and candy desserts and like little uh, Disney princess one styles. There's also Hime Lolita, which is also kind of like classic Lolita, but it's more Rococo era focus. So it's very elaborate, elegant feathers, big hair that's like the Marie Antoinette style. And then there is the most popular one, in my opinion, is Gothic Lolita. So it's black Lolita outfits. And they have some themes like vampires, like uh, dark cathedral style. That's really cool. And then opposite of that is Shiro Lolita, which is Shiro is Japanese for white. So that's where you basically wear all white. And it kind of has like a broken doll feel, if that makes sense which kind of now transfers to Gudo Lolita, which is like uh, Shiro Lolita where you wear white, but then you have like blood splatters and you might wear an eye patch because you're insinuating that something happened to your eye. It's very much like nurse, like something kind of like a twisted insane asylum thing, but it's still cute, okay? Then if you like a more boyish style, they have the Prince style or Oji, which is Japanese for Prince, and that's really cute. They have a lot of pants with like puffiness. Here, I'll show you a picture of some examples. With that, you're kind of thinking like an elegant pirate, um, someone from like the Victorian era or like the Rococo era that would court a lady. 
so very handsome and stylish. Then there's also nautical, which is like sailor suit style, so it has the little sailor collar. And then also there's country Lolita, which includes that gingham pattern and wearing, uh, having like baskets or picnic baskets and like little straw hats. So that's also really cute and fun for the summer. That being said, there's so many brands and you can get the top brands. The brands are mainly Japanese brands, such as Baby the Star Shine Bright, which we call BTSSB, and Angelic Pretty, which is AP, and then you have Alice and the Pirates, which is a sister company to Baby the Star Shine Bright, but it is AATP, Alice and the Pirates. They have that like Prince style look that you want, while Baby the Star Shine Bright is sweet, classic Lolita. Angelic Pretty is definitely sweet Lolita, but they have quite a few amount of Princess, the Hime Lolita style, and also some classic Lolita as well. Now, if you like classic Lolita, I would definitely do Metamorphose Tim's to see you. Uh, it is so beautiful, so elegant. I don't own any pieces by them, but I think they're really gorgeous. And then another one that I am probably going to mispronounce is Moi Mim Moi And that's a gothic Lolita brand. And I am so sorry I'm bad at pronunciation, but I try. Now, if you look on their websites, you'll notice that they are expensive. However, thankfully, there is a huge Lolita community around the world, and there are places online where you can shop secondhand to get these at a cheaper price while still taking them the brand shops. So there are so many communities online, but another like website is Closet Child, which is a secondhand Japanese store in Japan, and they do ship international. And then you can also check Lace Market, which has uh, secondhand from all around the world. And if you're not sure that you're really invested in the Lolita brands, because even secondhand can cost you hundreds of dollars, you might want to do some indie brands. There are so many online websites to get them. They're usually Chinese brands. You can order them from their shops on Taobao, but you used to have to do like a third party company, I'm sure you still do, to order it for you because the website's in Chinese. However, there are websites like Devil Inspired that have it and My Lolita Dress. I haven't ordered from My Lolita Dress, but I have ordered from Devil Inspired and I think that's a great place to get some indie brands. However, I want to caution you that there are sketchy websites with really awful quality and such as Milanu, AliExpress, you don't know what you're getting from there, and then Amazon, the quality is just really bad. Um, maybe sometimes you can find a gem, but usually it's not that great. You don't know what you're getting. It's usually really cheap, and Lolita is gonna be like 50 plus dollars. You can't really get too good of a price, um, but it is really nice quality clothing. The brands, quality clothing is definitely different from the indie brands and that's why I try to stick to the brands. As an example, this dress has no label. I got it from AliExpress. It was like $38 free shipping and the quality shows this is so wrinkly. It's too short to be a Lolita dress. You usually want your Lolita dress like at knee length. It can be slightly above, slightly below, but this is very short. However, I feel like I can fit into it, so I don't think it's like a child's dress. Also, you can sew your own outfits. I mean, there's so many patterns and tutorial on YouTube and online. You just have to do the research. So like I said earlier, Lolita outfits are a cord. Whenever you have your cord, it is so amazing, but it's composed of multiple pieces, so let's get to talking about that. So the main component of your Lolita cord is, of course, the dress, the JSK, OP, or even a skirt with a blouse, of course. And like I said earlier, you want it about knee length. And then also you have to worry about the shape of your dress. You usually want like an A-line or a cupcake style. So um, that really just depends on the type of dress. You don't want like an A-line petticoat which I will get to in a second, an A-line petticoat under like a cupcake shaped dress because 
it just doesn't fit it doesn't work so I usually don't care and I ignore it and I make it work but it's up to everyone else and how like snobby and invested they want to get into it but usually the Lolita communities like I said you don't have to be scared you don't have to invest all your savings into this you can do it at an affordable price so like I said, the shape of your dress and skirts depend on what's underneath. And we usually call that a petticoat or a paneer. Um, I usually don't invest too much. I have this hoop skirt. I bought the hoop skirt off of Amazon. I'll link it in my description below. And then you can also just wait and go to like a grocery store like Walmart or Target or whatever is in your local area the day after Halloween and buy those tutus at the discounted mark since Halloween is over and then you might have to get like five of them and you just put them all underneath and then also a lot of Lolitas if you're like really hardcore wear bloomers like old timey vintage bloomers like the white like kind of like pants where it's like tight and has little ruffles super cute but i usually wear just athletic shorts underneath because no one is going under my dress to see what i have underneath so that's a little tip to save money but some people really invest into this style so that's totally fine whatever you decide so some indie brand models you can see don't have a blouse underneath but i think to keep traditional with this fashion since it's about innocence and modesty you have to wear a blouse when you're wearing a skirt or a jsk so like this blouse by baby the star shine bright is really nice you also want to think about your socks you definitely want socks that's a must in this coordinate so i have some plain ones i don't have any of my pattern ones available because they're at my hometown with my parents at their house and i have these pink ones and there's ruffles and you can do knee high uh, regular length socks like ankle socks or you can do tights here's some more ankle length sock and then here is another like knee high or thigh high with like little ruffles that are cute colors so i got these mainly from like the two long ones at anthropology but you can also go on like the websites like my lolita dress or devil inspired they have really cute tights with like little like kind of like a corset design or like a shoelace where it's crossed and then it has a bow at the top or like polka dots on your tights it's super cute and i highly recommend looking into that and also brands usually make some matching socks or tights that have the same pattern as the dress or skirt and also they'll make like hair accessories out of the same material with the same pattern so i think that's really cool that they do that if you really want to be on point with your coordinates next you want really cute shoes like mary jane's or even like boots that kind of look like victorian style if you're doing gothic lolita you could definitely do like combat boots or anything i think the shoes are so cute these are from bodyline and also this dress is from bodyline which is another indie brand but it's from japan and they do do international shipping from their website i really recommend it hair or use some like added extensions to give you more volume but Lolita hair in my opinion is really big thick has bangs typically so I highly recommend investing in wigs also I'm not wearing any right now but colored contacts like circle lenses are designed to make your eyes look big which is a part of the Lolita look and now I'll get into that with the makeup so Lolita look to me is like being a porcelain doll very innocent big eye uh, subtle on the makeup but you can you want natural tone eye makeup but it is a lot usually because you're doing like effects to make your eyes look big there's no contouring or like crazy colors 
but you can do little things like adding a little bit of jewelry on your eyes or on your cheeks or like something like little fake tears it just depends on the kind of look you're looking at doing thank you so so much for watching as always i really appreciate your time let me know what you think in the comment section and give me any suggestions or feedback about my video if you would like to again i have my blog linked in the description below for more details and pictures on how to achieve getting a part of the lolita community so thank you everyone bye